two, one. Hi guys, thanks for clicking on this video. If anything, what we're going to make today is a stamp seal or seal stamp. A seal stamp is something that is pressed onto a soft surface that may be um, hardens eventually. And the goal is to leave a mark on that particular surface. So here now in AutoCAD, we have a logo that we made. So it consists of lines, arcs, symbols, and letters. Now what we're going to do is first we have to resize it. That way we can predict uh, on how long it will be printed later on. Um, but first and foremost, we should center it first. Let's see. Um, let me check if it's centered first. Oh, it's not. So I'll just have to center this one and probably scale it afterwards. Um, okay. You can try it. You can try this on any logo or every any any marking you want as long as you have a 3D printer at home or has access to one. Wait. Just, just find the center of this logo first. Okay. It seems that the logo is not um, symmetrical. Maybe it's made that way. Maybe not. Well, anyways, we will select the center. Okay, oops. Move. Uh, sensor. to the zero zero coordinates and now we have it centered we will resize this resize or rescale this logo I'm thinking of uh, giving it a probably 25 millimeters diameter or 12.5 millimeter radius I will select the whole logo pick the center hit R for reference select the maximum extent of the logo which is this arc then pick again the center and I will drag it to the end point of the 12.5 radius there we will erase the unnecessary objects and maybe I would expand this a little bit this is our reference by the way so we won't get lost on finding the center again because this whole logo is not symmetrical there we go now we will export this, simply type DXF out to export it as DXF. I will name it as RNK logo, hit save. Now we have the um, sketch. And now we will move on to Fusion 360 and get modeling 
for the stamp seal or seal stamp first we will um, insert the previous DXF the logo um, we'll select the plain sketch um, we will select this for now but later on we will modify it because it's meant to be elevated elevated or elevated we'll select the DXF file the RNK logo okay looks good select OK I think we probably uh, should proceed on to making the handle oh no the main body and then the handle first before before we proceed on making the actual stamp because it's located underneath Okay. I will offset this plane for about I would say two millimeters. Hmm. And then I'd put a 28 millimeter circle here for the base. I will extrude that and give it a give it a height of say 4.5 millimeters oh. probably closer to 5 millimeters oh no um, I forgot to mention that we should consider the positioning of the model already because we are going to 3d print it later on should we model it upside down no i think we just should proceed or of course like again like i said we should consider the 3d printing procedure later while doing this modeling I think I'll probably give it a 7 millimeter instead for the height and then give it a chamfer on this edge for those who don't uh, have an idea the 3d printer could uh, support 45 degree angles quite seamlessly uh, it would not uh, require supports like actual supports for 3d printing the layers when it has 45 degree um, angle for its uh, transitions I give this a five millimeter distance and then extrude this surface for about I'd say three three millimeters no four oops four millimeters 
so um it would have a nice transition probably chamfer it again yeah Three. three millimeter distance again equal distances height and depth now that leaves us with uh, oh, six radius would that allow it to support I, I don't think I should put this chamfer I'm I think I'm gonna just extrude all the way and give it a um, say uh, 40 30 yeah 30 uh, millimeter height for the extrusion now I'm thinking of adding a bigger uh, A bigger diameter for this uh, grip like uh, geometry up the top and give it a 35 millimeter diameter and then extrude the whole thing with let's say five five millimeters again let me remind that we will be printing this at this position this I'm thinking of adding another chamfer here always equal distance to achieve a 45 degree uh, transition let's say 2.5 okay or 2 maybe 2 okay now we can proceed on adding the um, actual stamp but for now I think I think I should do also in an outline for the stamp just to make it look good a little bit more okay let's say point five and then another negative one 
for the outline oops I think I'm gonna go and extrude the outline or boundary first. Oops. Extrude it up. Up until the it reaches the base because it's upside down Then we'll go on and extrude the characters and symbols. I selected new body by the way. Because the sketch consists of multiple points you see so I select a new body that way it would compute faster but I have to uh, use combine later okay looks good Now we will proceed on adding some levels because this this half on the original logo this half and that half has um, different colors but of course this is a stamp so we can't color it so we'll just be um, adding levels so basically we will be extruding it with different heights that way when it's press onto the surface it the 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 vision of the two separate sides would be obvious so yeah we will select one side and then extrude but this time we'll be selecting from object And that object is the surface and then we will be extruding towards the outside of the stamp okay one one millimeter sounds good So yeah. Still computing. Oh, it's done. As you can see, we have levels. I find it a little bit higher than I wanted it to be but I guess it works because the height of this 
this edge to this edge is one millimeter so that's pretty tiny if you ask me and this edge to this edge supposedly is two millimeters let me check okay so we're correct two millimeters and one millimeter so just a tiny bit of difference well of course very obvious when we press it onto a surface that we will stamp it on We should do the other side as well. We do an, uh, an extrusion here. Let me open the the logo sketch again. Okay. another sketch the previous uh, circle that we made let me hide this first okay this sketch located ayun ito pala so we probably should um do a I think we should do another extrude for this other side let me see okay so we selected the other side click from object and we select the bottom surface and we will add 0.5 no 0.75 and then the other one will be 1.5 okay Wow, 20 minutes. Twenty minutes already for this modeling alone. Um I will edit this extrusion and give it a 1.5 height instead of I think we given it one millimeter before. So where's the feature? Yeah. Uh, here. One point five. Probably too high, I think. 1.25 Okay, looks good to me Wow 
beauty um, like I mentioned earlier we were we are going to print this 3d print this and Three D print this on a um, Ultimaker three D printer. Oh, yeah. There we go. Looks good to me. Turn up the origin and. This is this is the actual stamp basically. Oh yes, I forgot. Uh, we should join the whole thing or combine. Oh, never mind. I think everything is connected already. So what's left now is testing it. Now the way we test it is simple. We are going to make a circle here and extrude a cylinder to resemble, um, let's say, a a piece of uh, dough. Select new body so so it would not uh, com uh, conjoin with this stamp model. And now we will uh, use the combine tool. First, select the dough or surface, and select the actual style se uh, stamp seal or seal stamp and we'll change this into cut select ok and i guess it works yeah pretty much works now that we are, um, we are happy with the result we will export this into an STL file so we could um, uh, set the model for printing on Cura um, okay so we will hide this model first forgot we should have uh, ticked the keep tools option so the stamp would not disappear okay now we will remove that and that leaves us with this stamp Let's okay let's hit save and then uh, click on the uh, file name and then select save as STL uh, yeah, this is the default settings binary and high refinement just hit OK and then that's how we save it as an STL now we're moving on to 
setting it up for printing on Cura. And now we will be setting up our um, seal stamp model to be printed on the Ultimaker printer. First we open our file. which is the um, seal stamp model and we'll be rotating it 90 degrees and then reset the model's position so the bottom will be touching the build plate the build plate by the way is this grid lined surface And like I said earlier, we considered the, um, the uh, future printing, so we used 45 degrees for the transitions. So most likely, even if we ask for suggestions using Cura on the on where to put the uh, supports, most likely it will not uh, suggest putting supports. Um, we'll be using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and a pearl white PLA for this uh, particular print. Uh, these settings are predetermined by yours truly, but it's definitely close to the default settings. Of course, 20% uh, uh, in fill. And this one, like I said earlier, the, the support, which I think uh, will not be needed, but let's see. Uh, build plate adhesion, set to brim, and we're ready to go. Hit slice, currently slicing. And it says here that it will be done in 43 minutes and we'll be consuming 9 grams of filament or 1.1 meter of filament. Let's check the preview and try to simulate uh, the print and see if there's something wrong. Everything looks good. For now and like I said earlier using a 45 degree for the transition um, definitely would not let uh, Cura suggest supports because it can uh, it can definitely print well enough on that type of uh, angle and ultimately not need support I think everything looks good so we're going to save the file save the file the output file for uh, Quiora is .gcode save and now we'll be transferring the file the gcode file using uh, a card reader and a USB adapter so basically we will be inserting the micro USB here so be read by the computer and then once we copy the file we'll, we will be inserting it here in the USB adapter and then placing it inside the Ultimaker printer and then print it afterwards I will be showing you the process of printing, so stay tuned.